Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back. Well, this is part two of the items I got from the Gravenhurst, Ontario Long McQuaid store that just opened yesterday. Um, so it was a soft opening. They still have to do a grand opening. Of course, the wife and I will be there for that too. Um, but uh, So I've been looking for this amp for a long time. It's the Vox Pathfinder 10 it's a 10 watt amp. It's got like a small six inch speaker in it. It's got clean, dirty. Um, that's about it. Um, but uh, I know these have been out on the market for a while, but everybody has a different opinion. And uh, so I was able to actually try one out that was on display at the store. And uh, I checked it out um, actually with a uh, player series Telecaster and the clean is really nice. Um, although, as far as the dirty went, I personally didn't like the dirty sound. Um, perhaps in a, another video we'll do another demo video down the road just to give you an idea what it sounds like on a telly. But I do have a right-handed um, Bullet Series telly, so maybe those pickups will actually do better. But the Player Series, I was not at all impressed at one bit. Um, so... But on a Gibson Les Paul that I played on, or no, sorry, Epiphone Les Paul I played on there, I really liked it on the clean, and the dirty was really nice too. So, uh, anyhow, um, I guess we'll uh, get this plugged in, hooked up, get a guitar out. Uh, this will be instant for you guys, and we'll give her a spin and see what it sounds like here in the house. Um, this will be the first time firing this one up, so, you know, nobody else has played it. Uh, so, may have even a different opinion, you never know. All right, so instant for you. All right, guys, we're set up. Uh, I've got my Gibson Les Paul studio um, that we're gonna play through this thing. So uh, you only have clean and dirty, but as far as EQing goes, all you get is bass and treble. So I put them at 12 o'clock for now, and we're on the clean channel. Gain is halfway up or 12 o'clock, and we've got the volume at nine o'clock position. So that's the neck, or sorry, bridge. And now this is the neck. So let's bring the volume to 12 o'clock. smaller room this actually sounds much louder than it did uh, at the Gravenhurst store and that store by the way is huge it's I would estimate a little over twice the size uh, of the amount of space it's just a big store Back up to that neck pickup. All right, uh, let's say three o'clock position on the volume, leaving the gain still at 12. So let's play with the bass and treble a little bit. Bass and treble are both now at three o'clock. And neck pick up. Full bass. Volume. 
gain up around three. Still full volume. Up to it, some like natural breakup. Okay, full gain, full volume. Okay, let's back off the volume and uh, put the gain gain at 12, volume at 9, and let's go to Dirty Channel or Overdrive. Okay, so we're going to back the volume back off and let's go gain at three o'clock. I think we're doing pretty good there. So volume and gain both at 12.
so that is uh, our Vox amp. Um, anyways, um, another day I will do the telly. Um, I got more practice to do right-handed. I'm playing left-handed right now, and as you guys know, I still have this. And um, some of the things that I, I do with power chords, I do kind of a little bit mess up a little bit sometimes. Um, but I'm working my wrist out really good, and that's the main thing. Uh, let me just get in front of the camera for a quick sec to put the guitar down. Um, anyways, so I've been looking for this particular Vox amp for quite a while. I missed out on getting a used one uh, that Long McQuaid North Bay had a while back. I'm like, oh, I'll come back maybe tomorrow. It can't sell that quick. Well, apparently I'm not the only one looking for these things. Um, now these are about 130 bucks new. Um, they're not overly expensive. Uh, and they're a heck of a good little amp for that, that six inch speaker. And they call it a heavy duty and they got like a picture of like a bulldog type of thing on the back of the sticker. But anyways, um, nice size cabinet. It's not, you know, massively huge, but man, does it ever deliver a good sound. Um, and the clean is so nice and clean. I really love the clean tone on this thing. It's very nice. Um, bass, we do have some responsive bass and definitely some responsive treble out of it. And even in 12 o'clock position, which is pretty much where I leave my bass and treble on my amps, only because I use uh, my pedal board with all of its EQing um, in place. But uh, even just by itself, it's a great practice amp for clean stuff. Great to get a little bit of overdrive or some really nasty distortion. But as we know, with neck pickups common with humbuckers, they can be a little bit more muddier than your bridge, obviously. Um, and my pickup is set pretty much as low as it can go on my Les Paul. And I also don't want to really mess with it um, because I love how my pickups are set. But different pickups are going to create different uh, abilities to neck or bridge position when it comes to um, any guitar with humbuckers. It doesn't matter if it's a Les Paul, an SG, uh, whatever, right? Um, but um, anyhow, yeah, and it's got a nice heavy-duty uh, carry handle on it. It's got some really good thick steel for brackets, so, you know, you can haul this sucker around. Um, I love the look. Um, this particular look, at least on the Vox amps, it's very vintage looking. Um, and Vox has been around for an awfully long time. And you know what? For solid state amp even, that thing delivers really nice. So for 10 watts, it's pretty impressive and it's definitely pretty loud. And as I mentioned in the beginning, it does sound a little bit louder too in a smaller room, obviously. Um, but even the sound of it even though it felt a little quieter on the clean side at Long & McQuaid when I played it, um, it still, the sound went through the whole store without any issues, right? And I didn't give her snot like I did here. I mean, you know, I, I definitely uh, cranked this sucker up. And we have to, to find out what it's going to be like, right? So um, I, I think as far as, you know, on the clean side, I like the, the gain, you know, somewhere around 2 o'clock. And the volume anywhere between 12 and, th and 3 is just fine. Um, when you start pushing the gain a little bit harder, you get a bit of a natural breakup, which is nice. Um, and then, of course, when you hit that overdrive channel, whatever you're doing with it, you can have it very clean with a kind of a, just a bit of a breakup right on up to some pretty gritty. Um, it's, it's no heavy metal, death metal type of sound, but for an amp that has built-in distortion, which generally my experience has been they've always really kind of sucked, this one actually, I'll give it a not bad on that side of the fence. Um, but anyhow, um, I, this is great for a bedroom amp um, for practice, okay? Um, I would not suggest gigging, even trying to mic it up. Probably might not go so well for you on stage, but you never know. Try it and see if it works for you, because miking up an amp, you know, does have a lot of good side effects to it uh, when you're talking about playing on a big stage, right? But otherwise, I mean, this realistically, this is actually a better map, right? It's got a six inch speaker. You know, you're, you're not gonna crank this thing full blast on stage. It's just, you know, not gonna do that. I'll also do a video too, uh, where we'll hook up my Boss ME80 pedal board to it um, to let you know how well it takes pedals, or in this case, a pedal board. Um, and uh, we'll see how it works on the clean channel. We'll get it nice and clean and find out where our loudest point is before breakup happens. And we'll run, run some effects through it and see what this thing can really sound like with some effects pedals in front of it. But as far as 
a amp for being an amp with just clean and dirty and the basic EQ of bass and treble. I must say it is very impressive um, and definitely worth the $130, you know, for sure. These used to sell for 100 bucks until um, I think about four or five months ago. Um, Amazon brought them up to like 120 or something like that. And now they're like 129. Um, and uh, I think they're worth the money for sure. Even at the 130, um, they're definitely worth the money. Let me just uh, verify the price for you quickly uh, on the Along the Quaid uh, website. So, uh, Pathfinder. Okay, that's cream colored. Um, just trying to find mine on here. Yeah, 129. So for mine, it's 129. Um, 10 watt, of course. Pathfinder 10 is what it's called. Um, and they have another one actually um, up on the Long McQuaid website. And this is actually, I'm just looking at the back panel on it and the top. Yeah, that's the same amp. Um, they have a cream colored one, but it's 159. Yeah, so they have cream, uh, cream. They call it cream brown for 159. The regular, which is mine, is 129. And then they have one called Union Jack, uh, which has got that flag on it and it's blue, and that's actually pretty nice. Hmm, I don't need two amps the same, but yeah, if I was gonna buy a second one just to have a second one that's different, that Union Jack looks pretty awesome. Um, I kind of like that. But uh, anyways, but for hey, 129, it's gonna be the same amplifier anyways. It'll just look different. But um, yeah, um, as far as review points go for star rating, as you guys all want your ratings, um, I'm really um, I'm I, I'm good on a, on a solid. Um, I'm gonna go four and a half. I I I can't really find anything wrong with it. I don't find any problems with it. I, I like amps that have, you know, just a bass and treble thing to them, you know, as well. Um, I mean, way back in the day, uh, the majority of amps just had bass and treble, right? Um, even, whether it was solid state or tube, and then of course EQing for the mid-range started coming out, right? Um, so this is kind of a little bit of nostalgic at the same time, uh, at least for my taste. Um, I really like the sound of it on the Les Paul. Um, and so I, I played it on the Gibson Les Paul here, which has got 57 classics. Um, I think it was a 50s or 60s Les Paul. Um, definitely not the same pickups, obviously. And it sounded really good, too. So bo both guitars being, being Les Pauls, one Gibson, one I'm back phone, different pickups. That does really well, but I will come back with another video for you guys um, with the Telecaster going through this. I personally didn't like it with the Player Series Tele. I might like it on the dirty with with my bullet. You never know. Um, but anyhow, um, as far as the rest of it goes, if you want to see the back side of this puppy, it's basically a quarter open back, so it's going to allow for a lot more sound to come through. Oh look at that! Do not eat. Um, <laughs> that was actually in there. Uh, but yeah, they're the, the six inch speaker is here and they call it loud heavy duty loud speaker. And they got what well, looks like a pit bull or something on there. Anyway, some kind of a dog. Um, but it is 10 watts um, as far as the amplifier goes for output. Um, and this is the model V9106, uh, in case you're wondering about the model number of it. Um, but uh, yeah, you could even, uh, well, you can't open the back up. No, because that's the whole amp right there. So if you took these screws out, the whole amplifier comes out. You could open the back a little bit more, taking this bottom piece out, and it would give you a little bit more airflow, uh, you know, a little bit different for angling the amp for sound-wise. But I think it's great just the way it is, actually. And the power cord will just rest right inside. No big there. Um, but yeah, so that's where I'm at. That's what I think about it. I like it. I would definitely... Uh, if I, like I said, if I was going to buy a second one the same, I would buy the Union Jack because, you know, I really like the look of it. I, I'm not really thrilled about the cream colored one, but maybe you might like it. But check out the Long and McQuaid website. I'll have the link in the video description below for this one. Uh, but you can also just do a search for the Vox Pathfinder 10 and you'll come up with, you know, all of them. But this is 129 The other two are 159 each. 
Um, I think they're worth every penny, you know, like seriously, even the 159 for um, the Union Jack or the one, the other one, I mean, you're paying a little bit extra for different, but you know, that Union Jack definitely, and I love the blue on it that they've done. Um, so anyhow, um, yeah, I guess we're done. So uh, comments down below, let me know what you guys thought of this. Uh, and like I said, stay tuned for more videos. I'll have another video uh, with the pedal board. I'll have another video with the telly and we'll go through clean and dirty on this thing with the telly so you get an idea what it sounds like with a Telecaster. Now, mind you, my skills on right-handed are not near as good as lefty, but I will do the best I can for you guys um, so you get a pretty good idea of what the sound uh, is going to be like, um, at least on a bullet telly anyways. So, But you can also go to your local Long McQuaid if you live in Canada and try one out try one out for yourself if they have one in the store um, and I know they do still have a demo in the store for sure um, in Gravenhurst Ontario uh, where I got this one from all right that's it that's all I'm out of here thanks for watching see ya